Hi everyone, and today is November 20th, 2012, I almost said 11, and here I have a This Day in History. On November 20th, 1945, 24 Nazi leaders were on trial before an international war crimes tribunal in Nuremberg, Germany, the more you know. So, there we go. It's uh, what happened this day in history, which now looking back on it might have been a good thing to do this year, but who knew? Who knew? Nobody knew. So, I just want to say, uh, I'm super, I'm actually really excited for Thanksgiving this year because I'm going over to Cassie's and I have this great appetizer I learned about at school that's really easy to make, but don't tell Cassie that. She asked, it was the hardest thing to make in the world. I eat, and so to bring it over, and it's going to be exciting, and we're probably going to film Best of the Month that day. Just so you know, I know it's been a little up in the air. This is my steno machine. Hi. Hello, everybody. Sorry, it's late. So I just thought I'd bring you into the mix. Hi. Hello. Yeah, this is good. It looks like it has teeth. Like, is that just me? If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this a lot. I eat, like, a lot. I also realized you didn't do a lot of, I mean, since the power outage, I mean, November's been kind of a blur. I can't even believe it's the 20th already. Like, I mean, I didn't have power the first six days of November, but it feels like November just started for me. I don't know. I mean, it's still a mess here in Jersey and New York. And, you know, cleanup is started and mo people have power. I think it's only like a little percentage that doesn't. It used to be like 95% didn't and 5% did. And now it's like 95% have it and 5% though, which is ridiculous. But it's great to see people from other states helping out. Like, I know I passed a Missouri truck the other day, and California was working in my town, Texas was working on the other side. I mean, it's just amazing, the reach out that happened. I actually, going into this, I didn't know I was going to talk about it. It turned into this, which is fine. Um, Hurricane Sandy uh, just hit us so hard, and... Um, I guess I just want to thank everyone out there. Um, if you might have donated or if you were a worker or you know a worker that came out here, thank you so much. Uh, really, really, it means all that, means so much because my mom was in line to for food and there were a bunch of Indiana workers in front of her and they were talking and um, you know, she was talking to them and they were like, yeah, without the people coming from the other states, you guys still wouldn't have had power, and that was like a week ago, which is sad. A friends of mine just got power like a week ago. Like, do you imagine? I, I hope no one ever has to go through this or go through losing their home or losing friends. Uh, don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> um, because just the fallout from this is so ridiculous, and God bless the Jersey Shore, really. I mean, the... The memories that are lost there are ridiculous. The homes, the people, I mean, heart-wrenching. Uh, for anyone in this country, I could imagine. I mean, just for me, I mean, those are places I went all the time, and now not there, and people live there, and it's just so heart-wrenching. And I've done my, I've done a little bit of my part. I, sh you know, I'm going to do more, but I bought foot warmers at Lowe's, so people, you know, their feet could be warm. They're like the hand warmers. They're made by the hand warmers people, but they go in the shoes. So keep that in mind. That's a really good thing. People don't realize, but cold feet are ridiculously uncomfortable and not good for you. But anyway, so now that it turned into a <laughs> Hurricane Sandy video, I don't even know. But um, in any event, I will see you tomorrow for General Hospital, and thank you so much if you helped out with Sandy, and thank you so much for watching us, and thank you so much for your support. Bye.